Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to my tutorial on how to convert audio files, um, MP3s or otherwise, um, into audiobooks in iTunes. Um, so I'm going to start with just some MP3 files that I have um, that I would like to be organized in iTunes as an audiobook so that I can listen to them in my car and it'll remember the playback position um, or uh, whatever. Um, so I'm starting with just some mp3 files here. So I'm going to go to iTunes. Then I'm going to go to File, Add to Library. And I'm going to go find the mp3 files on my desktop. And I'm just going to select the uh, folder so the folder is highlighted. Click Open. And that's going to go ahead and copy in Sit with Sensei. And so by default, audio files are going to go in as music. So I'm going to search for them, I'm typing in the first few characters. And uh, here are the files that I just imported. So what I'd like is for these beginners ones to be one um, audio book, and then for these intermediate ones to be another audio book. So what I'm going to do is highlight these three, then I'm going to right click, or two finger click depending on um, what your configuration is. Do get info and it's going to ask if I'm sure I want to edit the information for multiple items. So I'm going to be editing the information for all of these three items when I'm changing this. So you don't want to change uh, the song title or something like that because all the songs will be the same title then. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes and I'm going to change the artist. And I'm also going to change the album to Sitting with Sensei Dinner. And then what I'm going to do is go to Options and then go to Media Kind, select Audiobook. And then um, this is optional, but if you'd like for um, the playback position of your audiobook to be remembered, you can select this. As yes. So that way, if you're listening to an audiobook in your car or something and you are at five minutes, then the next time you get back in your and then you pause it, then the next time you get back into your car, it will resume playing where you left off. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see those tracks disappeared. Um, and what they did was put those over here in audiobooks. So here is Sitting with Sensei as an audiobook. So just to show you one more time, I go into music find the album, select all of these. You can do that by um, either hitting command and then selecting all of them um, as you hold command, or you can click the top one, hold shift, and then click the bottom one, and that will hi highlight all of the ones in between when you hold shift. So that's a handy trick if you have a lot of files. Um, then you're gonna right click those, get info, um, click yes. Go ahead and enter in the artist. And then the album. Then you go to options. Go to audiobook. Go to remember, remember position yes. Click OK. And now those are no longer organized in music but they are in audiobooks. So now when you port them onto your iPhone or your iPod or your iPad, um, it will be in the audiobook section and the playback position will be remembered.